Meghan and Harry officially stepped down as senior royals at the end of March 2020. As a result, the couple no longer needs to abide by royal rules and etiquette. This means they will be completely free to make their own decisions when it comes to the organization of the christening of their daughter, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams noted. He told Express.co.uk, they waited two days before revealing news of Lily's birth. Expect them to handle the christening in their own time and in their own way, almost certainly in California. Lily was born on June 4 at a hospital in Santa Barbara. But news of the birth was only shared with the world two days later, on June 6, by a spokesperson for the couple. Their statement read, It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. Lily was born on Friday, June 4 at 11.40 a.m. in the trusted care of the doctors and staff at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. She weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces both mother and child are healthy and well, and settling in at home. The statement also made it clear Lily's names paid tribute to the Queen and Princess Diana. It added, Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late-grandmother, the Princess of Wales. As suggested by Mr. Fitzwilliams, Lily's christening will be different from the one of her big brother Archie Harrison, which followed royal tradition. However, he recalled, Meghan and Harry made choices ahead of Archie's ceremony which sparked controversy. Mr. Fitzwilliam said, the row over Archie's christening when the couple wanted the entire event to be private, the ceremony itself, at the Queen's private chapel at Windsor Castle, was never likely to be filmed, caused tensions between the Sussexes and the British press. The Sussexes had at that time accepted two pounds. Four million of taxpayers' money for the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage, so it was thought by many that there should be filming of the guests arriving. Also, they faced further criticism for keeping the names of the godparents secret. Archie was baptized in Windsor two months after his birth, in July 2019. Unlike other senior royals, Meghan and Harry decided to bar cameras from filming the arrival at the ceremony of their guests, sparking the criticism of many royal watchers. Following the christening, they released two pictures. One, in black and white, showed Harry looking lovingly at his son held by Meghan. A second, a group photograph gave a glimpse of the ceremony's attendees as it included the Sussexes as well as Prince Charles, Camilla, Kate, Prince William and Princess Diana's sisters Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Jane Fellows. Meghan and Prince Harry have been living in California with Archie since the end of March 2020. Harry is expected to return to the UK for the second time this year to mark an important date the 60th birthday of Princess Diana. On July 1, this anniversary will be commemorated with the unveiling of a statue commissioned by the Dukes of Cambridge and Sussex in 2017, 